What's good everybody, Valley here once again, welcome back to the Nessie Workbench. And this time we got something familiar, this is my pigeon from the other day. And here is the original angled pusher, you know, feeds in from an angle, like the grip feeds from. Quite, quite uh, simple, you know, it uses a lever system like the Strife. But, now, on inspiration from Woody, Heath has designed his own official version of the pusher. I've added a little bit of grease to make it more smooth, and I've sanded everything. But this will hopefully help feed more straight and help with accuracy. And apparently it helps with FPS as well. I will have to test that later. But I'm going to get this installed. I'm, I know it's not the same color as the original, but eh, I'm fine with it not matching because it's going to be hidden by the slide anyway, so whatever. And you didn't really see it glowing through the slide because the slide does glow itself. And I'll get this installed quite simple it's just gonna be two screws and then the lever screw and all that and you know but yeah let's get this installed all right old pusher out new pusher in and I think it looks quite nice I mean it's nice and clean one thing about mine is um, the old flipper arm actually needed its slot to be ground down a little bit closer towards the pivot here let me just Folks, zoom in there. See that? I had to grind it out a little bit more so whenever it pivots, it can get smooth travel. But otherwise, it's quite smooth. I do have an extra spring back here because I like a slightly heavier trigger pull, and that'll make sure it returns fully back every time. But yeah, I'm going to shove a few darts through it. See how it has that guide up there. Hmm. Seems to have issue with that last dart. I'm not sure if it's just this magazine or what. I'll have to get a, uh, a pigeon pecker mag or actually print myself some of the, uh, the straight feed mags that Woody designed. Yeah, that last one. Having the, the straight feed mag will probably be the best course of action, or having dome tip darts to help with feeding. But yeah, I will likely drop a link down below if he has posted the files on Thingiverse already. Keep in mind, it is not that long of a print, just, you know, it took about eh, two and a half hours to print this at 50% infill with my three or four shells that I have it set to. Then a little bit of extra time to grind things out and sand it and grease it up and everything. But yeah, it makes the pigeon a little bit nicer, a little more reliable, makes it a little more accurate, especially because it's feeding straight and sound how to feed from an angle. But yeah, again, links down below. My name is Valor. Thanks for watching.